Saints Titans preview for Sunday. The Saints are hosting the Titans at home. Let me see that Saints Titans line real fast. I think the Saints are favored by three. Yes, we are. The Saints are favored by three at home, opening the season. And and I love that. I absolutely love that. Have us favored in the first game. Like I said, originally when I um originally when I figured out Alvin Kamara was suspended for this game, I was like, damn, that could really make us drop that because I know he's a pivotal part of our offense. Um, you know, I, I like I I know Kamara is a pivotal part of our offense. He, you know, does a lot for us in terms of the offensive side of the football. He's in a lot of packages, and we're gonna need his full disposal after coming off of a rough rough season offensively last year. And that's one of the things that I really hope we get right. Right. You know, like we don't want to see that saints offense continue to look like that over and over again. So originally I had this as a loss, but as the first game of the season, you already know, I'm going to pick the Saints in a very winnable game at home. What I'm looking forward to the most from the saints is how is the offensive line actually going to play out and the depth that it's going to have to undergo for a pretty decent, pretty good, excuse me. Um, Tennessee Titans team, you know, they're good in the trenches. They're good on the defensive side of the ball. They know how to stop people on the defensive side of the football. And we need to protect Derek Carr in order to get that great superstar offense back. Because the reason Breeze was able to run that offense so well was because he had time and he was able to deliver the football with his timing on just about every single snap. And when Breeze got out of the pocket and had to be off script, it was ugly. It was very ugly. You did not see Drew Brees want to play that way. It's You did not want to see Drew Brees play that way, especially later on um, in the season. But definitely going to look for that offensive line. I'm also going to look for Derek Carr, of course, to be very uh, very poisoned in this game like he looked in, in the preseason, hopefully having the nice protection of the New Orleans Saints offensive line because it is going to be one of the not so good, one of the worst offensive lines we had in a while. No question about that. I'm prepared for the offensive line to be middle of the pack or unfortunately, maybe even lower tier in the league, but we can't have it be that way. If we want this Michael Thomas return, if we want this Derek Carr return, if we want this Chris Olave, Rashid Shahid package, if we want Jawan Johnson to be able to blow up and get these targets and get these yards, it has to start in the trenches. I'm also going to be curious to see Jamal Williams against this defensive line. How is he actually going to be able to do meshing with our offensive line? Again, going up against that 10 if it's C front seven, going up against that great coach of Mike Vrabel who gets everything out of his players. Um, Kendra Miller, I wonder if – what's his uh, – what's what's Kendra's status? I did not look that up before the game. Saints issue clarification on rookie running back Kendra Miller's status. Oh, okay. So he's got the door open for a week one debut. I haven't heard the latest on him, but I would really like to see Kendra Miller – Really, really like to see Kendra Miller actually um, get some nice touches, really see what he's able to do with the defense, or excuse me, really what he's able to do with the offense. Uh, because we know we brought him in as a rookie. We want to see what he can do being next to Kamara, being, being next to Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams will probably be that feature back, um, and it would be nice. Now, I know he scored 16 times last year, 15 times inside the five, so maybe that's where we save him for, really get Kendra Miller those reps. But nonetheless, I'm going to be looking to see how, uh, of course, the running back room. And overall, I just want the entire offense to be able to mesh. Michael Thomas gets a few targets, hopefully, from Derek Carr, has enough time behind that offensive line. We still incorporate Chris Olave, some nice big plays for Shahid. Let's go ahead and start incorporating Jawan Johnson as that safety blanket again, as that security blanket for Derek Carr that he's used to having in Darren Waller. Like Drew Brees was a different animal, and like every quarterback is a different animal when they have a tight end. We remember the Jimmy Graham days, no question about that. I'm not too concerned with the defense. Well, excuse me, my only concern about the defense really is our defensive line. I need to see Brian Brissy step up. He needs to step the hell up. I need to see Isaiah Foskey step up next to a Cam Jordan because Cam's getting older. Cam's great. He got his extension. He got his deal. He's done a lot for us. He's legendary for the team, but he is getting older. He's getting older, and we see that he's going to need some help. That's why we go and get an Isaiah Foskey. That's why we go and get a Brian Brissy. And I wasn't upset with either of the picks. I would have probably rather had a Nolan Smith over a Brian Brissy because you could have put him on the line, maybe given some offensive um, – what's it called? Maybe given some um, – uh, what's it called, Lord? So, some linebacker presence as well. Because now when we go look at the linebackers, you know, we know Jalen Smith was cut. I super hate that. Uh, he did get, you know, thankfully – put back on the uh what's it called he did thankfully get put back on the practice squad and I think he'll get elevated you know before we know it 
Uh, we have Pete Warner. Obviously, we have Demario Davis. I'm feeling okay with Kal- uh, Kalen Saunders. Possibly, we still have Malcolm Roach. You know, we still have to know uh, Nathan Shepard, Carl Granderson. So, like, we've got some names that we've seen with this New Orleans Saints team. But the thing is, are they actually going to perform? Will they be able to perform? Because Derrick Henry's still there. Derrick Henry can still come out, and if the Saints' defensive line is lacking, Derrick Henry will make them pay for it. If the Saints aren't lining up correctly in the box, not showing enough people in the box, not being well enough in the trenches on that defensive side of the ball, it could very, very much so be something to look out for. I'm fine with Marcus May, Paulson Adebo, Marshawn Lattimore, Alante Taylor, Tyron Matthew. All of our guys are healthy. I love that. Not a biggest fan of Zach Bond. I think he was a bust. I think he was a whiff. Go ahead and get him off there. Put Jalen Smith back up. We know Jalen Smith is a pro, a dog, a pro bowler, a guy who makes tackles, a guy who makes plays for the Giants, for the Cowboys, won the Giants starting job, I want to say, as a free agent last year when they brought him in. So I'm looking for the trenches to be solid. I need protection for Derek Carr, and I need us to hold up and get pressure on Ryan Tannehill and stop Derek Henry. I want to see that nice offensive flow back. Jawan Johnson, Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, Rashid Shahid. The running back room is going to be interesting to look at as well. I believe that Jamal Williams could be that featured guy, but we could give it up to Kendra and just keep Jamal for those third and short situations inside the red zone. Again, 16 scores last year, 15 of them inside the five. And ultimately, Derek Carr to return this team back to the offense. Not that it was, but just to make the offense feel alive again. You guys saw when I posted, that was my most uh, that that was my most favorite thing from the week one game against the Chiefs. The offense felt alive again. And Derek Carr, he's going to be playing with the best defense he's got. Hopefully, Dennis Allen has gotten his shit together and he's not going to have these awful play calls and mimic what Josh McDaniels possibly did because let's let's be real, Dennis Allen's last worst coaching job was with the Raiders and he had a little bit of toolage with Derek Carr. I don't want to see the same thing here. If it has to be like with Jameis Winston with A, you don't have to be Batman every play. Sometimes you just got to be Bruce Wayne. If that's what needs to be implemented with Derek Carr, which I've been getting hints that's kind of going to be the committee for him, kind of be the game plan, then this offense can be good, but it's got to start with the trenches, with the play calling of obviously Pete Carmichael. And I'm, I am giving him some slack for last year. I understand it's one of Peyton's first years gone, and maybe it was all Peyton and no Pete Carmichael because we know Peyton called plays. But I've still got faith in Pete Carmichael. He's been with the team for over 15 years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and just overall Dennis Allen to make some good overall judgment calls because we saw the horrible gaffes that he could have offensively and just overall as a coach last year. 